Buff Nation, what is going on? I hope you guys are having a wonderful Friday. And hey, we we got some uh, interesting news. We got some good news. We have a new offensive lineman coming here, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think Matt H. told me that Cash Cleveland, interior offensive lineman from IMG, played his last year at IMG, originally from Texas, played, ro- at, played at Rockwell Heath, which is 6A. Uh, if if I remember correctly, this is awesome. I think he's coming over here as a preferred walk on. So opening up the IMG pipeline a little bit more, I would imagine that this is a pretty good sign when it comes to Jordan Seaton. Hey, and I mean you've seen the photo, you've seen that he's traveling around with Shador and Bucky, all that in Miami. So hey, we'll just have to see what happens. I appreciate everybody coming in. Hit that like, let me know your thoughts in the comments, but I wanted to use this first part of the stream just for you guys to get familiar with Cash Cleveland. Again, this is a 6'3", 300-pound lineman, originally coming out of a Texas 6A program in um, Rockwall Heath, played his last year at center at IMG Academy, Um, committed today. I think he had other offers from uh, Georgia Tech, Tennessee, Colorado, I believe, um, walk, like PWO offers. But, but I love this. Um, another developmental guy that we can have here, uh, in addition to center that we have on scholarship, which is Hank Zelenskis coming in for his second year. So um, yeah, we'll just we'll just have to see. Um, yeah, here's his 24/7 profile. There's not really any info here. Um, but let me go ahead and get to his huddle tape. That's what I really wanted to hit on. And we can take a look at this. All right. Hopefully that shares well. I think that looks good. Man, I love this new computer, guys. Thank you so much. Okay, and we'll go ahead and get started. So I love it. You see him snapping the ball. You see Jordan Seaton there, right over there at left tackle. But definitely a, uh, a lineman that possesses a nice size. And one thing that we've always talked about on this channel is somebody or... <laughs> A lot of us have mentioned this is that we need some bodies in here to develop not somebody some bodies in here to develop over time develop that offensive line pipeline and hey i love that cash cleveland is coming out here to boulder um you know he had yeah it it's a wonderful name coach <laughs> coach k um i i love it straight cash homie um was that a randy moss saying i'm i'm, I'm trying to remember but um yeah, physical guy. I like the way that uh, that he plays. I'm not an offensive lineman uh, guru or coach or anything like that. So maybe y'all can speak to a little bit more on uh, his technique, what he does well, what he needs to improve. But the fact that he was playing at a place, um, you know, starting at a uh, at a place like um, Rockwall Heath, six A. Texas high school football coming out to IMG. Uh, this surely is a is a guy that can play, and you know sometimes with offensive linemen it just takes a c- couple years before they're they're ready at that next level. You know there's there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but yeah, I guess I guess the old whites can shut up now. Um, you know we got we we signed a white guy, so <laughs> yeah, I don't think we gave him a scholarship though. But um, hey, I love it. Cash Cleveland, welcome to the Buffs. Um, you know, I, I was pumped to see him commit on the live stream, and, and you know, all the, all that's just really special. So enjoy this day. We're fired up to have you in Boulder. I mean, dude, look at he's how he's blowing that guy around. I love to see it. But yeah, I, I feel like. Uh, seeing cash Cleveland commit here. We wanted to get this IMG pipeline going, you know, Um, I I think there's some mojo or chemistry there with coach old Holt, obviously coach prime and um, 
man, why am I uh, George Hegeman who helps run the program over there at, at IMG. So um, yeah, we're, we're just going to have to see how he develops, but you know, my confidence meter is, uh, is definitely, you know, going up when you see the photos, you see that a teammate, a starting teammate of Jordan Seaton is now out here committed to Boulder. Uh, but again, I mean, we've seen cousins, that we're locked in, man, go separate ways just earlier this week. So we'll have to see. But I think, like, right now I feel pretty good uh, seeing, seeing Jordan Seaton uh, commit, sign, rather, his his NLI today, hanging out with the Sanders family. I, I think that's really great. Yeah, I'm just trying to take a little bit of a look at his tape. And, man, um, I know that there's been some discussion on how much more are we going to run the football next year. I think we will run the football more, but I, you know, I don't know if it's, <laughs> I still feel like, Hey, like 60, 40 ratio, that might be the best we get. Um, my guess is most likely with Shador back there. Hey, um, it's still probably going to be closer to a 70, 30 runner run to pass ratio uh, or pass to run ratio rather. And then when we have that new quarterback come in post Shador, I, I think you'll see us uh, run the ball more. I think that's uh, how I'm kind of interpreting uh, a lot of these commits and signings is is that we'll really look to to run the ball more. We're getting taller receivers that can go up and win those 50-50 balls. So we don't necessarily need to have a quarterback there with uh, elite accuracy back there. Um, you know, we got guys that can uh, go up, win those jump balls, be big-time red zone threats, and um, service well in the run blocking category um as well so man um <laughs> man your comments are uh are, are cracking me up um but dante i believe cash is a preferred walk-on um that is my understanding of it y'all correct me if i'm wrong so this is a player i guess like um doesn't technically need to sign like an nli or anything like that and i take that from his commitment post because it was it wasn't done in the way that we announce for scholarship players right um so that's that, that's why i'm taking this as a preferred walk-on but uh it, you know excited nonetheless we wanted to see uh, uh, more linemen in here to develop we need to get deeper uh, we need to have more competition and the fact that hey he started at a at a premier program. I'm not really sure why he wasn't more widely uh, recruited, being a starting offensive lineman for IMG. But I guess I'll uh, I'll, I'll leave that up to the experts um, on on why that is. But welcome to the herd, Cash Cleveland. I think you'll love it here. I mean, Tyler Brown. What do we got? Um, we got is it Jeremy Mayers? I always forget his name. I'm sorry. We got a handful of guys that can play center along with Hank Zelenskis. So I think we'll see him um, probably learn those different interior positions, see how he does at center, guard, all that. I don't think we'll see him this year. I think something crazy would have to happen if we see somebody like Cash Cleveland this year. But nonetheless, a, a guy that, um, <laughs> man, I, I love how pumped up he was after that. That's great to see. Nonetheless, a guy that, um, of course has potential and we'll just have to see what happens um but this is just going to be a little bit shorter of a live stream i gotta hop here in just a few minutes um to handle some more things for work but i want to just hop on real real quick i am going to be on later with um with clarence <laughs> from uh uh, Trek and Chubby, and so we'll be able to talk about some of the recruiting class. He wants to talk about some of these linemen that we got, so that that will be fun. Um, and then looking to also get on later with uh, DMVU Maryland fan uh, once all this seat and stuff is uh, is announced, which I think will be a lot of fun. So y'all be on the lookout for that this afternoon. Um, but overall, you know, I think today's a, a good day. <laughs> um, it's a good day, man. Y'all are picking, y'all are cracking me up. I don't think um, he has worked with six zero, no. Um, but yeah, we have kidnapped Jordan Seaton, so I'm feeling, I'm feeling good right now. Um, and and Vonda's bringing up a great point, saying, "Hey, Winston Watkins, another IMG guy. He's got to come too, right? Well, I think he was at IMG to start the season this year, but then went back home. I think to a public high school." 
I'm trying to remember. So he wasn't necessarily at IMG this past season and, and won't be. Um, yeah, I, I know TB's YouTube channel. It's how it has TB, all one word. So, um, oh, say no more. I appreciate the super chat. That uh, that means a lot. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays to everybody. Um, this is a great way to start the uh, start the weekend. But I think we will see some more uh, commits and news today. I mean, that seems kind of how uh, Coach Sanders, Coach Prime, and and, and everybody has a. Uh, worked it out you know so we'll just have to see coach kev what's my instagram it's david talks buffs i haven't posted on it yet i've been i've been late doing that i'm sorry y'all um but i think we'll see some more transfer announcements surely this is not the only announcement we'll get today obviously we'll get jordan seaton's hopefully that is in favor of the buffs again feeling great about that opening up that img pipeline i love it and surely we'll see some other transfers come in here now um, someone did bring this up on Twitter with me. I was talking about this, you know, I was just thinking about this today, you know, with, with coach prime being so heavy on the, on the transfers, it's like, then players that come out here, they don't have like that free transfer to use anymore unless they become a graduate transfer later on. And maybe that's why you're seeing more of these portal or more of these teams go portal heavy because they don't, they kind of want to hedge that that risk of a player leaving after a year or so. So we'll just have to see. Um, uh, someone brought up on Twitter about how that lawsuit could change everything if that is ruled in favor of college players being able to transfer every year. But I would imagine, this is my hunch on things, I would imagine that there, there, there's got to be some, some greater structure and changes put into this um, over time. So... Um, anyways, guys, I will be back later today, just hopping on for a quick little live stream. It would mean a lot to me if you went ahead and, and hit that like and consider subscribing if you haven't yet. And, uh, let me know in the comments, uh, if you're watching on the replay, what are your thoughts on cash Cleveland? What do you see? Um, at the end of the day, I, I see another lineman that can come in here and contribute, um, after some time, uh, developing in the weight program, getting that coaching, but an IMG starter, a guy coming over to IMG from a Texas 6A high school program. Um, yeah, um, I'm not really sure why he wasn't more widely recruited, but nonetheless, happy to have him here coming here in Boulder. That's that's going to be great. We need more guys. We need more linemen, and I think this bodes well for uh, Jordan Seaton coming out here as well. But yes, um, I believe he is a preferred walk-on. So just by the the post, because you know CU does different posts for scholarship players, right? So it, it, this was a different post. So that's kind of how I interpret it. So, um, anyways, guys, yes, USF, Tennessee, Georgia Tech, and Colorado, I think, had all offered him PWOs. So uh, I'm excited to have him here. A guy coming in here with great size, six three, three hundred pounds, starter. Uh, you know at IMG, I believe. So we'll, we'll just have to see uh, what, what happens next. So I will be back uh, later. Thank you so much. Shout out to I Love CC and the rest of the fellas, the paid members here at David Talks Buffs. Y'all have a wonderful afternoon. I will be back as always. And let's go Buffs.